you to the ukulele orchestra of Great Britain for that wonderful rendition of Hooray for Hollywood. And welcome everybody to part four. This is the final conclusion, the royal grand finale, if you will, of my special of the adorable movie, Some Like It Hot, with our girl Marilyn, our guys, Tony Curtis, and uh, Jack Lemon. So, enough of the fanfare. Let's get started. Here we go. So, whence last we were here, we got to see the, um, the hallway, that special hallway that has the umbrella, the beach umbrella wallpaper, um, specially made, and specifically, in this case, a homage to the umbrellas, not only that they use at the Del Coronado, but that were filmed in Some Like It Hot. We also got to understand that these hallways and hotel suites that uh, are, were part of and are part of the Del Coronado, any interior shots had to be completely recreated uh, and down to the detail. And these are Victorian details at um, MGM Studios. So that's a little Hollywood inside secret. You're welcome. As I've been talking to you, we've been walking along the inner courtyard of uh, the Del Coronado. And you've been looking at the beautiful, lush um, landscaping. In the center are the luxurious red uh, outdoor furniture. And there's gold lights, as you can see, strung up which really start to glow as the evening progresses. These rooms that you're looking at are part of the uh, original hotel and uh, they reflect, as you could see by the hallway that we went into at the end of the last part of the special, uh, those um, little details of uh, tooled wood and just the doorways and railings that you don't find uh, today. Now this is one of the event gala rooms that is still available at the hotel. Look at that gorgeous, sumptuous view. Complete with chandel ears. Put in round tables with linen, candlelight, and flowers, and you have a very elegant affair. Speaking of affairs and glamorous ballrooms, this is the scene in the movie where Sugar Cane sings to a very lucky and adoring audience in the hotel's grand ballroom. There's Daphne telling Josephine how horrified she is, well he is, that this millionaire has come to see her. Because she is a he! Of course that didn't stop them from cutting up the rug. This just shows you that life is short, so when you get the chance, dance. I came back uh, to this ballroom again to show you these chandeliers because I have some pictures that I came across of Marilyn and they are categorized with the Some Like It Hot filming stills. It's not the Academy Awards of that year because I checked. It could be the premiere. Look how beautiful she is. And especially on this night, I thought if I was going to add these to this vlog, this would be the place and the time with these chandeliers. You look beautiful, Marilyn. Now leaving the chandelier room and uh, continuing down our path, uh, keeping true, you will find this small but elegant lobby with art and four gorgeous velvet green, emerald green chairs upon which to rest. To your left is a wonderful gift shop 
that I absolutely recommend. They have lots of interesting things to look at there and their coffee is real good. I did buy an item and I'm going to give you a little hint about my next vlog right now. It's a teeny hint. The hint is one word, a hyphenated word. The word is Easter egg. But not at the end of this vlog. A bonus vlog. You heard it here first. Shh, it's a secret. Speaking of secrets, now these chairs hold a secret. Once a year, they are visited by a very special guest. Who is it? You might ask. No, 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 no. Not so quick now. Who do you think it is? A princess? Paul Bunyan. Both very fine guesses. But this time I want you to really use your noggin. It's once a year. It's usually around the... You know, that special time of the year. Colorful lights, everyone's so nice and happy to each other. You guessed it, it's Santa himself. Hello, Santa. Once a year at Christmas time, the Del Coronado gets all gussied up for the special season, and Santa Claus really does come and he really does visit the Del Coronado. Oh, and by the way, this is an actual picture of a real Santa Claus visit to the actual Del Coronado Hotel. So when you come to the Del Coronado during Christmas time, Santa Claus will be waiting for you. Thank you, Mr. Kris Kringle, jolly old Saint Nick, and our one and only and beloved Santa. So now we are walking back through the doors that we came in to see the beautiful petite little lobby with its artwork. Those are beautiful photographs by the way and they are for sale. I didn't spoil the surprise of those should you come to visit the Del Coronado yourself. Let's just walk for a while now, shall we? And enjoy this lush landscape. Goodbye, doll. We sure did enjoy our visit, and we sure will miss you.
And that's where the ocean is. Here's our first reason why this is the Marilyn Monroe staircase. First of all, at the bottom of this staircase, right about here, is where Marilyn would have stood to have signed autographs for her adoring fans, which was long then. And here is that photograph. <laughs> Bye, Mom. We love you, honey. As I mentioned uh, later on in uh, a later part of this documentary, the center railing uh, has been taken off of this staircase and a canopy has been added. But as you can see by the woodwork trim on each side, the white delicate pattern, this is the very same staircase. And when you get to the bottom, if you turn left, the ocean is right there in front of you at the same distance, just as it was for Marilyn in 1958. This is what I call the Marilyn Staircase, because this is where some of the most beautiful scenes of Marilyn Monroe were ever shot. In these scenes, she is coming down the staircase in her beautiful dress with her white uh, mink stole that, and the moonlight is this is natural moonlight so it is um, illuminating her uh, and her first stole and everything she is wearing from head to toe in a magical luminous way in this scene that follows it is evening there is a big beautiful moon in the night sky Marilyn playing sugar cane is walking down the uh, staircase and going out to the sea in her white fur stole with the moonlight shining upon her. She is very happy because she has finally learned the truth and she is going out to tell uh, the millionaire who is who that she knows he is not a millionaire and Josephine to tell Josephine that she knows that Josephine is not Josephine, but Joe, the saxophone player. All with the word Joe and a kiss. Here is a filming footnote. Remember, this was natural, real, luminous moonlight uh, at Coronado Island in San Diego, and not artificial studio light. And this factor helped to make these some of the most, if not the, most beautiful images ever taken of Marilyn Monroe.